Welcome to Beside the Bird for Tuesday the 23rd of April. This week we are looking ahead to communion on Sunday and we are in preparation for that. And we're thinking about three parables in Luke chapter 15 where Jesus tells us that he has come to seek those who are lost. It's all in response to an accusation by the Pharisees of the day who are complaining that Jesus is keeping company with tax collectors and sinners. And they're complaining that he shouldn't be doing that, that he should be spending time with people who are good rather than people who are bad in their eyes. But Jesus is making the point, look, I have come to seek out those who are lost because those who are lost are important and are valuable in the kingdom. And as we're coming to the Lord's table on Sunday, we need to remember that Jesus has sought us out to bring us to that table. Jesus has gone out of his way to bring us to that table and to enable us to come to the table. It's not just that we were lost and he has gone out to find us. We've got to remember what Jesus did to enable him to bring us back into the fold again, to find us and then to invite us to his table. He went to the cross. He suffered. He died. He gave himself. He gave his very life so that we could have life in him. And so Jesus tells these parables to explain to the Pharisees how important lost people are. And we've got to remember that as we come to the table on Sunday, that we were lost and Jesus has given everything to bring us back to him. So yesterday we were thinking about the lost sheep. Today, slightly shorter parable, and we're thinking about the lost coin. And we find it in Luke 15 verses 8 to 10, where we read, Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbours together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Amen. This is vital for us to realise that the ending of that parable, there is rejoicing in heaven. There's rejoicing whenever the one sheep is brought back. There is rejoicing when the coin is found. There is a whole kingdom and a whole realm that we cannot see, but that we're told about in Scripture. And it's explained to us so that we can understand what is happening even though we cannot see it. We cannot see these angels rejoicing when someone repents and and comes into the fold whenever they've been lost and are found again. And yet that is what is happening in heaven. Angels rejoicing. That moment whenever we responded to Jesus' call and trusted in him, the angels were pleased. And that seems difficult for us to understand because at times we feel so insignificant. We're just a a tiny number in, in the midst of a great multitude and yet angels care about us. But much more than that, Jesus cares about us and he comes and calls us to be with him. And therefore, as we come to the table on Sunday, we need to remember that as we sit down at that table and we eat together, there is rejoicing in heaven over each one who would call in the name of the Lord and trust in the name of the Lord. So let's pray together and give thanks that Jesus is the one who seeks the lost. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you and praise you today. We want to thank you for all that you have given so that we might have this wonderful privilege of sitting down at your table and eating the significant meal with you. 
We thank you, Lord, that whenever we were lost, you went to find us like a shepherd going out to seek the one sheep that is lost and like a woman who has lost a coin and searches everywhere until it is found. Lord, we rejoice today in your goodness to us and we thank you for the rejoicing that takes place in heaven among the angels. Lord, that humbles us greatly to think of a party just because we have responded to your call and trusted in you. But Lord, we praise you that you have done that for us. And we thank you, Lord, that whenever we trust in you, we are able to say that once we were lost, but now we are found. Amen.